Yeah, I mean, that whole family is like, it, it, it is a family. I mean, the cast was what I meant to say. The cast is like a huge family. Um, there's not a favorite, because literally, I love each and every one of them, and for so many different reasons, you know? Um, Steve Bloom is such such a hero for me, such an idol, and so kind, and to, and so talented. And then you've got, I mean, Peter Wal, I mean, Peter Walker, Peter <laughs> <laughs> Colin and Frank Walker, but I was going to say, the way they work together as a team is crazy. I mean, they would, they would have us in stitches, and then, like, the next second, we would all, we would we'd be performing, and then in between takes, they would start their own performance, and they have their routines down so well, and they just work off each other so well. Literally, every the entire cast is just quiet, and we are just <laughs> watching them, like, absolutely amazed, because we know we are getting treated to something magical. Like, every time you go in, it's, you know, you're sitting next to living legends, and... You know, and I would always, my, my regular place in the lineup was between Ratchet, Jeffrey Combs, uh -huh. and KMR, Kevin Michael Richardson. And the, sitting next to the two of them is hilarious. I mean, it's literally like Ratchet, like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then Kevin is constantly making the entire room laugh, whether he's like busting out in like, you know, theme songs and he's just, you know, singing, singing, or um, he does this thing where he, he pretends to die in different ways. It's hilarious, though. Like he'll be sitting there. Oh, I hope he doesn't mind me telling this story. <laughs> like, and he, his space work, his object work is phenomenal. And you see the things. Like, and he'll, you know, he'll unscrew the, the pill bottle, and he'll take, you know, like. But it's, I mean, it's all in good fun. And he takes, you know, drinks, drinks some water, and he'll, he, he has so many different ways of. Die and at any one given point, I'll just look over it and I'm like, no, not again. And and, and he makes everyone laugh. And Darren, Nor I mean Darren Norris, I mean he is. Uh, there's, uh, I just remember one. I don't even know what they were talking about, but I looked over and he's got string cheese hanging out of his mouth, <laughs> like swinging string cheese, and literally like the entire room busts up. And you know we have special you know guests or visitors come in and. They sit usually behind the glass where the rest of the producers, the writers, and the engineering team, and the directors. And sometimes I think that they're missing out on the best part because if they could be in the room with us, that's where all the jokes are, you know, and that's where all the laughter is. And and you can't hear that because in the other room they only press it when they want to talk to us, and then they they pick up at the end of the story. They're not they're not hearing us the entire time because they don't want to hear all of our banter sometimes. And the kids, I mean, I mean, the, the actors who play the kids, Josh and Andy and Tanya, they added so much. And I think, um, I think having kids in the cast really helped make it even more of a family from the get-go. And because the writers, I think, wrote them so well and wrote us so much as a family, I don't know, man, from the from the very beginning, from the very first script reading, it was like we were we were together. And from what I understand, you know, that's a that's a pretty special thing to feel that close, that tight mm -hmm. with your cast. I mean I mean Kevin came and sang at my wedding and he was just it, it it blew me away, you know, it was just yeah, they're they're like a family. And that same group they saw me through, I, I got married, I had my first child, and they were all there through it, you know? They, like, I went in to record, right before I went out to get married, I went to do a recording session, and we literally left from the recording session <laughs> to go to get married, because I didn't want to take too much time off, because it was like right at the beginning, season one, and I didn't want to like, okay, bye, you know, because I, I just started this new job, and but they were really cool about it. And literally the, the entire car was packed, had the cat, the dog, my husband-to-be, and I finished my recording session, a couple of the producers walked me out, and they're like, okay, have a great time. I'm like, thanks, bye guys. <laughs> so it really, it really is like a family. You can't, I, I could never, I could never pick a favorite. And the writers too become part of that family that, I mean, they, they kind of start it all with, you know, the stories and the characters they create, so. And even the artists, yeah. I mean, the way that, the way that, the way that they st just started how we all interacted together 
you know, they, they invited us over to the studios. We got to, we got to meet, you know, I got to meet the guy who's doing the lighting work and, you know, the guy whose, you know, specialty is the coloring. And we saw our drawings of our characters and it just makes you feel all the more you're one person in a very, very special, you know, collaboration of people. So it was just, yeah, no favorites, can't, it's too hard. Yeah, you know, I love, I love what I do. So long as it's, you know, as long as it's about good entertainment, good, you know, good fun, good entertainment, uh, I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a specific, as an actor, that's my goal, is to, is to be able to keep working <coughs> consistently with uber talented people. That's like, that's the dream. And I feel, you know, I, I've tasted that dream and now I'm like, I just want more. <laughs> <laughs>